we're checking out some spooky alien shit today. Uh, it's called They Are Here. I don't know if there's the full game out yet. I haven't really looked. I just saw the demo and I'm like, that looks sick. So let's check it out. <laughs> ah, God, that was loud. Unexplained phenomena occurred at the Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After the, a while, they vanished. The strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, the animals went crazy. Dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained uh, that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman, himself in the field, uh, saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. Well, what is it? <laughs> uh, deliberate deception, drawing attention to oneself, or a sensation about an alien invasion. Journalist Taylor Fox travels to the Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Can't read today. Oh my god, that's so loud. All right. Okay, we got out of a car, white. Where are we walking? I guess it is a Let's see. Talk to Farmer Peter Sherman. All right. I have a flashlight or anything. I can zoom. I can turn my head. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to take a photo there. That's pretty cool. Look at that. This is great for the news report. That's really sweet. All right. Cool. That's awesome. Three lights. I feel like I've seen something like that in my area, too. All right. Going to the farm. Took his trash out. Look at that. Cornfields are always fun, right? Alrighty. Oh, uh, hello? What the hell? Alright. Keep going. It's a scarecrow. What's this here? Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. Ooh. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. All right. Well, inspect the house. Let's go. Okay. There's a phone. Ah. I don't like the sound it was making. It's like alien interference or something. All right. We're going to investigate. That's a loud fridge. Let's see. It looks like a picture in the photo. Members of the Sherman family. Look at that. Happy family. H E. Is that supposed to say Sherman, maybe? And the S fell off somewhere? Huh. It's a loud fridge. Alright, let's check this room out. It's locked. Okay. Why is there. Dude, look at that. Pizza in a spooky game again. <laughs> And there's just milk left out. Must have left in an emergency or something. Okay, they didn't do any dishes here. Alright, let's check out upstairs. Since that other door was locked. Okay. What's this? More pictures of the Sherman family. Yep. Nice hat. What is making noise? It's like a barking or something outside. It's a doggy. Um, okay. Some toys, a bed, there's a drawing. Oh. The drawing looks like it was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Oh. Huh. Okay. So the alien killed the dog. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise when I came in. She wasn't in her bed. And the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Oh, man. Playing in the corn. It's a walkie-talkie. Anything? 
Let's see. Property of Megan. I was putting out some kind of frequency, so. Alright. Oh, that door shut. Did I shut that? I don't think I did. That's... Don't jump out and scare me now. Oh, man. That light looked like a person. Alright. Open this door. Oh, man. Um, Some alien pictures. Looks like an autopsy. A photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. It's another autopsy picture. There's a bunch of them. Oh, my God. That one, <laughs> that one looks like Lil Mayo. <laughs> it's high as shit. Oh, my God. Whoa. All right, nothing out there. Let's check out this book. Found my old diary. diary. How could I forget that? Uh, when I was 15, let's see. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier in the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights on or windows was hovering. Uh, I felt a punch that seemed to throw me in the air. <laughs> Just got uppercutted. You know, I froze uh, there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became bl uh, blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on a table as if I were welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they, were, they communicated with each other telepathically. Uh, and one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up in the pier later that evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing. I walked in as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Wow. That's... Yeah, we're getting a picture of that. <laughs> All right, sick. Uh, all right. Some books on the ground here. Let's check this computer out. What the hell? Oh my god. What is happening? I was just trying to check the computer. Hello? Oh, good. Uh, press F to use the flashlight. Oh no, I knew this was coming. Can I just hide in here? <laughs> no. Alright. Can't see anything outside. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh my god. What the hell? That sounded like it was downstairs or over here. Huh? Alright, little girl's room is safe. Whoo! I... am terrified right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that, that door's open. Alright. I would be booking it back to my car right now. But I probably can't do that. Why is this TV the only thing that's on? Oh, here we go. Kind of, oh my god. Is this a real movie? Is going on. Um, can I turn on my flashlight? Yeah, I don't want to be around that TV. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. 
Let's check out the bathroom. I'm shutting this door. All right, what do we got? Oh, as a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors cannot determine the cause of my migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. Uh, I could only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then uh, behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in, in me, uh, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything, definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Yeah, let's get a, what is that? Oh, a little jar with a strange device. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it? Yeah, I guess. They're probably gonna want it. Oh. Oh my God, do they want it back or something? I can't see anything, dude. All right. Oh. Can I uh, can I live here? Come on. Oh good. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. Oh. Oh, there's five lights now. Wonderful. Okay. Oh good. See ya. Oh my god. Yeah, let's uh go back to the car. Why is my car dying like that? Hello? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, I need to leave. I need to leave yesterday. Get to the car. Oh my God. Yep, we are driving home. Start the car, start the car, start the car. Oh, of course. Give us some gas, give us some gas. Throttle it a little. Oh. Oh my god. Start it up. Holy. Yeah, get me out of here. Do I have to get out? God. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, I need to see if this is a full game. You'll find the strange territory of Greasewood Farm and all its story, the alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. Holy. Yep, I'm gonna do that. That was fantastic. I'm spooked. <laughs> well, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if the game is fully out, I'll probably do a playthrough on the channel at some point. Um, blah. Need to take a break now, though. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.